Thousands of cargo and cruise ships dock at ports around the world each day. Within these ships lies the potential for catastrophic environmental destruction, not from containers or passengers, but from ballast water in a ship's hull. At one port, a ship sucks up millions of gallons of water to provide stability underway. At another port, the water is discharged, potentially releasing millions of invasive organisms and a billion-dollar nightmare. Invasive species can change habitats, they colonize, they can cause crashes of fisheries. Um, and so there's an enormous economic and ecological cost to invasive species. And the biggest vector, uh, the biggest transporter of invasive species in an aquatic environment are ships. In the Great Lakes, the invasive zebra mussel probably came from Europe in a ballast water tank. At the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay, the invasive mitten crab most likely arrived in the ballast water of an Asian cargo ship. But now the free ride for these and similar aquatic species is about to end. Docked in the port of Baltimore is a barge with two identical Olympic-sized swimming pool tanks sitting side by side. It's uh, large, it's 300 cubic meters, but for a real ship it would probably be small, maybe uh, a third or a tenth of the size of a real ballast tank. Funded by a group of environmentally active agencies, including the U.S. Maritime and Maryland Port Administrations, the barge is a unique test facility. And the way we have it set up now is the red pump and the red pipes are control water, untreated, and they go straight to a control tank. The blue pump and the blue pump lines go through the treatment system first, which is behind me here. Water gets treated and then goes into the tank right behind you, the treated tank. Some analysis of species survival is done on the barge, while other samples go to university labs for further study. They remove the larger organisms first, and then they will treat the smaller organisms, because the idea is that they're more susceptible to whatever the treatment is. This would have not gone through the filter. It would have stopped that. This would have only been uh, in the control. What the Coast Guard and Marine Systems Engineers want to know is which systems work and which do not. Tests on three treatments have proved promising. A method for suffocating organisms in ballast water, the use of a chemical cocktail to kill foreign organisms, and a UV radiation system that also kills invasive species. Within the decade, commercial ships must install Coast Guard approved treatment systems in order to do business with U.S. ports. Coast Guard conducts uh, inspections and examinations of vessels on a routine basis. Um, vessels coming into our ports are subject to um, scheduled exams as well as unscheduled exams. While growth in the global economy encourages increased ocean traffic, biosecurity measures may slow down transfers of invasive species. Tom Ritchie, Associated Press.